Hello, dear listeners, and welcome once again to our intriguing exploration of the human mind and technology. Today, we delve into a fascinating and somewhat unsettling topic that sits at the intersection of robotics, psychology, and aesthetics, the uncanny valley. Let's start with a question that might unsettle you a bit. Have you ever looked at a robot or a computer-generated character and felt an inexplicable sense of unease, despite its human-like appearance? This reaction, a blend of intrigue and discomfort, brings us to the heart of the Uncanny Valley, a concept that explores our emotional response to humanoid robots and artificial entities. The term Uncanny Valley was coined in 1970 by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori. He observed that as robots become more human-like, our emotional response to them becomes increasingly positive and empathetic. However, there's a point where this trend reverses, and we become profoundly disturbed by robots that appear almost but not quite human. This dip in emotional response, this valley of eeriness, is the uncanny valley. But what causes this unsettling feeling? Several theories try to explain it. One is the evolutionary perspective. It suggests that this response is a defense mechanism against disease and illness. Beings that look almost human but not quite right might trigger an instinctive reaction of revulsion as they subconsciously remind us of corpses or sickness. Another explanation comes from the field of aesthetics and psychology. The uncanny valley might stem from our expectations of human-like appearance and behavior. When these expectations are not fully met, the result is a sense of dissonance and discomfort. It's like looking at a familiar face and realizing something is off, but you can't quite pinpoint what it is. The implications of the uncanny valley are significant, especially as we advance in the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. For developers and designers, understanding this phenomenon is crucial. It influences how robots and AI characters are designed for movies, video games, and real-life interactions. The goal is to create beings that are either clearly robotic or perfectly human-like, avoiding the unsettling middle ground. The Uncanny Valley also raises fascinating questions about what it means to be human. As technology blurs the line between human and machine, our emotional and ethical responses to this ambiguity become increasingly complex. How do we define humanity if a machine can mimic human appearance and behavior almost perfectly? But let's dive deeper. The uncanny valley isn't just about our reaction to robots. It reflects our deepest fears and hopes about technology and its role in our lives. It embodies our fascination with creating lifelike beings, a theme that has been a part of human storytelling for centuries, from the golem of Jewish folklore to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Moreover, the uncanny valley has implications for our understanding of empathy and connection. Why do we feel empathy for beings that are clearly not human, like cartoon characters, yet feel unease towards those that closely resemble us? This paradox challenges our notions of empathy, making us question whether our emotional responses are triggered by appearance, perceived consciousness, or something else entirely. As we near the end of our exploration, consider these thought-provoking questions. What does our reaction to the uncanny valley tell us about our own insecurities and biases? And as we continue to advance in creating lifelike AI and robots, how will our emotional responses evolve? In conclusion, the uncanny valley is more than just a theory in robotics and psychology. It's a mirror reflecting our complex relationship with technology and our deep-seated questions about life, consciousness, and what it means to be human. Thank you, dear listeners, for joining me in this intriguing exploration of the human psyche and the frontiers of technology. Your time and attention are greatly appreciated, and I hope this journey has left you with new insights and perspectives. Until next time, keep pondering the mysteries of the human mind and the marvels of technology. Goodbye and take care.